welcome dear all in our youtube channel lxs projects myself professor mohin shek and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is iot based soil parameters monitoring system so first we will see uh, we can see here it is actually 230 volt input uh, supply okay uh, it is used to run the water pump because our water pump run on 230 volt okay and uh, then after this one uh, 5 volt input jack okay because uh, this is some runs on 5 volt dc that's why we will use this adapt, uh, power jack to provide 5 volt dc in our model okay so we, we can see here dst l1 sensor we are using uh, it is used to uh, measure temperature and humidity of the surrounding this component uh, we can see here is a motor uh, sorry motor relay or water pump relay we can say it is used to turn on and off the water pump automatically uh, according to the in our model we are using large size of display uh, because uh, we will measure nitrogen phosphorus potassium okay and uh, soil moisturity temperature humidity and water pump status and the next comes uh, esp8266 okay it is used to uh, it is responsible to run entire model like running lcd handling the data of sensor and structure all the thing it is responsible okay and uh, uh, we are using one uh, soil moisturity sensor okay using this sensor we will measure a soil moisturity level next uh, component uh, we can see here is one water pump connected here to feed the water whenever uh, soil moisturity level reduces less than 30 percent okay so this water pump will automatically turn on to fulfill the water needs of the plant next uh, component uh, is uh, here we can see ttl converter because uh, our uh, NPK sensor uh, runs on RS485 protocol, okay. But RS485 protocol is not available in this uh, Node MCU or ESP32 module or ESP826 model. Uh, RS485 communication is not available, that's why we need to convert it to TTL converter, okay. TTL conversion, then we can uh, communicate it with our sensor, so that's why this module is necessary. Here is one NPK sensor here, you can see. Okay, it is uh, it runs on 5 volt uh, and you can see protocol name is here of uh, RS485 and here is a um, parameters it is showing NPK sensor okay these three rods are uh, responsible to measure nitrogen phosphorus okay and remaining uh, this is the third for th third parameter okay to fulfill power needs of the model we will use this uh, DC power adapter uh, one interesting thing uh, in this model is uh, we can also remove the components uh, for the study purpose so you can see here is tstl1 sensor uh, we can remove in this way okay and we can, can uh, play, replace it place it okay and we can also remove the lcd you can see and also we can place it on side uh, on the headers okay so lcd is placed so we can also remove this uh, ttl converter in this way see Okay, the components are also removable for the uh, feasibility of the students we can also remove this sensor I can also place it again easily so you can see it is so easy and also we can remove this node MCU brain of the system okay And we can also remove and attach this uh, to a uh, 5 volt adapter and also we can remove these wires using the nut see thank you so much uh, before providing the power to our module we need to visit uh, iot server account for this we will search blink uh, iot or blink cloud and then uh, we will click on blink cloud and after uh, uh, opening the page we will click on first link okay then uh, we will visit the uh, iot server in this way our page is currently loading now okay now we need to enter a login credential okay which we will provide you if you purchase this model and you just uh, will need to go visit to the server and need to login okay and everything will be ready there so after uh, entering the password you need to click on login button so we are successfully logged in and here you can see connected devices okay in the connected devices you can see here is a model name is appearing here soil parameters monitoring we will click on this and here is our uh, most important main, uh, main monitoring page you can see uh, I have clicked on full page mode and you can see here humidity, potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus, motor tone on and off status each and everything 
to run our model needs a 5 volt DC supply for uh, to fulfill this purpose we are using this DC 5 volt power adapter to our system and to uh, provide a 230 volt power supply to the water pump we are using this uh, supply pin as you can see as this model is uh, IoT enabled so for this purpose we will need to provide a uh, Wi-Fi connection for this we will use mobile hotspot okay so first we will turn on the hotspot then we need to uh, change the hotspot configuration so as you can see uh, you need to enter uh, the hotspot configuration which is provided by you from us and you can enter and after uh, writing the Wi-Fi name and password you can save the settings and can turn on the hotspot settings so as we have entered all the things and hotspot is uh, turning on with new settings and after turning uh, on uh, your device connected devices will show here in connected devices list uh, so we have done all the arrangements so you can see uh, each and everything is ready uh, laptop is in IoT server mode okay and switch is off now and you can see setup is off water pump is inside the water and you can see NPK sensors are dips inside the soil okay as soil is dry you can see also the same moisture sensor Okay, so let's turn on the setup using the switch. So you can see pump is on now and current system is turning on. Okay. So you can see pump has automatically turned off because moisture level is greater than 30, uh, 70%. So that's why water pump is on, and we can see. Here, uh, using the NPK sensor, we are getting the data. It is nitrogen uh, 42 milligram per kg, and it is potassium 50 milligram per kg, and it is clear phosphorus. Okay, 21 milligram per kg. You can see, and pump is off. You can see, pump is off, and moisture level is 47 uh, 72 percent. Temperature is 29 percent, and here is the humidity. Okay. So we will uh, cross check this thing, uh, either it is showing on wave server or not, so you can see, see here is the temperature 29, okay, and here is the graph of temperature, so you can see temperature is 29, okay, and here you can see nitrogen is 43, Phosphorus, potassium. Here is the nitrogen. Forty-three. You can see graph. Actually, laptop is touched screen, so that's why it is reading such kind of uh, information. Nitrogen is forty-three. You can see. Okay, and here is the potassium fifteen. Uh, sorry, phosphorus fifteen. Okay, so you can see 15 phosphorus and here is the graph of phosphorus and here is potassium potassium is 21 so k means potassium okay so it means all the data is uh, running on server very fine so uh, we will check uh, by removing the sensor we will need to reduce the moisturity level okay so consider that uh, moisturity level has reduced by removing the sensor so you can see what part from should turn on again see water pump has turned on okay because moisture level is 2 percent only water pump is on and here the soil sensor so again we will dip it into the inside the moisture level so you can see water pump will turn off, turn off automatically see pump has turned off you can see also see inside the pipe water flowing so because of moisture level is about 70 percent Okay, our model uh, wait for uh, for for the soil to dry it down. Then automatically pump turns off on, and it uh, makes the soil uh, moisture, and then automatically pump gets turned off. You can see temperature, and uh, you can see the uh, accuracy of the sensor. You can see still uh, all the NPK parameters are nearly same. Okay, you can see all the graphs here. See here is the graph. Here is the nitrogen potassium and you can also see the data here and here phosphorus and we can also see the water pump status so here you can see 
motor go. There is no color means motor is off now. Okay. So let's just turn on the motor by removing the sensor, reducing the moisture level. So you can see we are removed. See pump has turned on. See pump has turned on. Okay. And now we will see. See it is colored. Okay. Means pump is on. Okay. Again, we will dip it inside the water, uh, moisture uh, soil. Okay, so you can see pump has turned off, and again, you can see it is become colorless. Okay, so it means the working so fine. We can also see the uh, sensor data moisture level is 93 percent, humidity is 67, 67 humidity. Okay, temperature is 29, temperature is 29. And each and every parameters graph is showing here. If uh, any value changes, uh, we, we will see increasing, decreasing graph. Okay. So let us uh, try to uh, disturb this uh, value so that we can see what is uh, current. You can see potassium, potassium is 12. Okay. So let us uh, again dip the soil sensor, uh, uh, sorry, NPK sensor inside so that value should change. Okay. So I have altered the sensor. You can see. After a little trial delay, you will see, see, phosphorus has increased for from 15 to 20 now because sensor was not properly dipped inside. That's why reading are changing. So you can see, graphs are also changing. See, phosphorus is 20 now, potassium is 28, nitrogen is 56. You can see the graph. Okay. So it means our uh, model is working so fine. If any student want to buy this model, please contact us on the given description box. Okay, I will also show you uh, what is the backside of this uh, model. So uh, uh, let's uh, see what is the back. See, here is the wiring. You can see each and everything. Okay, here is the back side of node MCU, this back side of LCD and here is the relay, 5 volt input, 230 volt input and here is the pump outlet and here is the NPK sensor outlet. Okay. okay, so thank you so much for watching the video.